First, you're going to need to loosen on the negative part of the battery. I'm sure you can figure that out. I loosened it with this. You're going to have to get like a screwdriver or a flathead to pull this up. Pulls up, and there's four clips on each side. It just pulls up a little bit and the rest comes out. Next, there's a screw right there that you need to take out. After taking out the screw, the rest of this bezel just kind of pops off. Hopefully I can do it right. This whole thing comes off. All it is is really one screw that makes this whole thing lean forward. Now we have access to the OEM stereo. There's four screws here, here, uh, here, and similar one on the other side. Remove those. After removing them, you can literally just pull it off. And then you have access to the back here. Remove those two wires. Here are the two wires and here's what they look like. After removing the wires, here are the two parts that I needed in order to install my new stereo. This one connects to the stereo. This one helps with the connection to the antenna. Aftermarket stereo I purchased. It is a DPX 52BT. Here's the back of it. The OEM connector that comes with this is like this. Looks like this. This is what comes with the uh, OEMs with the new stereo. I'm gonna put this in here, and then. After plugging that in, or at least later, hook up the wires from the OEM hookup to this. Here's the stereo and wiring kit that came with my aftermarket stereo. Looks like this. Here's the one that I bought to be able to connect to the OEM adapters without having to cut too many wires. I'll be connecting these colors corresponding with their, um, with the these cables corresponding with their colors. There are probably better ways to do this, but I'm taking the corresponding matching wires and just using uh, wire connectors, twist tie wire connectors for these two. Here's this now with both of them connected. Here's the OEM adapter. Here's the uh, one that's plugging into the new stereo. As you can see, all it really took was to just match up the corresponding colors. If you have any issues, consult the manuals. Also, this guy right here, make sure it's on a metal part of your car, because it's the ground. Old stereo, you're going to need to move these four guys right here. They are kind of star-shaped. You're going to need one of these. I've taken the OEM cable connectors and plugged them into the adapters. And that's kind of what it looks like. At the end, we have the parts that will be plugged into the new stereo. It's the new cable connector. And then this is the antenna connector.